Bonjour. Today's lesson is about la circumlocution, aka circumlocution. Circumlocution is talking around what you want to say. If you don't have the exact words that you need or you can't remember them and you're trying to express yourself, la circumlocution is how you literally talk around the thing you're trying to get to. During a conversation or speaking activity, sometimes you can't think of the word. Maybe you don't know it, you can't remember it, you are feeling really anxious and your mind goes blank. It happens all the time. And you might not have a dictionary on hand, or you might not want to embarrass yourself and pull out your phone, or you might just be trying to save time and talk around the thing that you need. For this reason, you need to be able to use circumlocution to get the words and ideas across. We do this all the time in English. It just comes a little bit harder in another language. Um, so let's talk some strategies for circumlocution. Let's say you don't know a word. You cannot think of the word for banana in the language you're trying to speak. And so you have to say it's a long yellow fruit instead or it's what monkeys like. And so you will try to give examples and talk around the word banana without using it. It's almost like you're playing the game taboo and you can't use the word, but you can use any other words to try to get this, the other person to understand you or to guess. Um, some things you can use to circumlocute to get your word across. Use vocab you already know. Maybe you know the word monkey and eats. Um, think of another way to convey the same idea. You can explain what it is, who uses it, what it's for, where it's used. Um, you can use a synonym, another word for it. You could use a category. For banana, you might say it's a fruit. It's a type of food. You can explain what it is not. No, it's not a pineapple. It's not an apple. It's long, it's yellow, and you can start to build your description without using the word. You can always point. You can use gestures and actions. You could peel a banana. You could use sounds, all sorts of ways to help get your point across. And you can always draw it as well. Even if you're drawing it in the air, that might help somebody understand. Um, so let's try these out. I want you to try these with a partner or a group. Um, these make me laugh, a horizontal tranquility terminal. Now you don't have to get that specific with your descriptions, um, but these are all examples of circumlocution where instead of saying it's a box, it's a, it's a square, it's a container, you put stuff in it, these are all good ideas. How would you describe these words? And you can stay in English for this. We're just practicing talking around the idea. How would you describe a cat, a swimming pool, the country of Italy, the act of reading, the word exhausted, irritable, shoelace, iceberg, and I think there's one more, hammer. So pause this video, work with a partner or a small group. You cannot use the words on this slide. You can only use synonyms, sounds, gestures, talk around it. I think that you'll be able to do this in English pretty easily. Um, I want to show you some phrases in order to conveniently use circumlocution in French. Um, you have this page in your notes as well. A lot of these phrases you'll already know, so you don't have to sit and jot down all of the translations, but my, some of these might be new, so you might want to jot down a couple of notes on your notes page. These phrases will help you with circumlocution, like c'est un synonyme pour, c'est un synonyme pour, it's a synonym for, like it's another word for, c'est le contraire de, it's the opposite of, c'est le contraire de, ça ressemble à, that looks like, ça ressemble à, c'est comme, use the word comme a lot in French, it means like, so c'est comme quand tu es très 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 fatigué, oui épuisé, voilà, c'est ça, épuisé, exhausted, c'est une personne, it's a person, c'est un animal, it's an animal, c'est un véhicule, uh, like a vehicle, a car, a boat, a plane. C'est un aliment. Aliment, c'est un synonyme pour la nourriture. La nourriture, un aliment, is food. 
c'est une chose à manger. Maybe you can't remember the word aliment, but you could even use circumlocution again and say it's a thing you eat. C'est une boisson. It's a drink. C'est un outil. Outil, it's a tool. C'est un outil. C'est un endroit. An endroit is a place. Uh, un synonyme, un lieu. Un endroit, c'est un synonyme pour un lieu. It's a place. C'est un bâtiment. It's a building. C'est une machine. It's a machine. C'est un appareil. Appareil is a great word for, if you don't know what it is, it's an apparatus. So it's a, a thing. It's a device. C'est un meuble. It is furniture. C'est une plante. It's a plant. C'est une chose. You use the word chose a lot in French. It's a thing. And then you could explain, c'est une chose que tu regardes, it's a thing you look at. C'est une chose qui te montre, it's a thing that shows you. C'est une chose pour manger des céréales. Um, so you could add these relative pronouns, que and qui, or the word pour, to describe this chose a little bit more. Um, another word for chose is un truc, a thing, un truc, une chose. C'est l'idée que, it's the idea that, so here they are again, c'est un synonyme pour, c'est le contraire de, ça ressemble à, c'est comme, c'est une personne, c'est un animal, c'est un véhicule, c'est un aliment, c'est une chose à manger, c'est une boisson, c'est un outil, c'est un endroit, c'est un lieu, c'est un bâtiment, c'est une machine, c'est un appareil, c'est un meuble, c'est une plante, c'est une chose que, qui, pour, c'est un truc que, qui, pour, c'est l'idée que, c'est quand, it's when, ça sert à, it's used for, and then here are some um, verbs that would go with that, ça sert à écrire, it's used for writing. Ça sert à se déplacer. It's used for moving around. Ça sert à cuisiner. It's used for cooking. Ça sert à protéger. Protecting. Um, on le trouve. You find it. Le, if I know it's a masculine thing. La, if I know it's feminine. Le, if it's plural. If I don't know, maybe just use le. On le trouve uh, dans une boîte. On le trouve en ville. You'll find it in a city. On le trouve à l'école, you find it in a school. À la maison, it's in your house. Dans la mer, it's in the ocean. You can add more. These are just examples. C'est fait, it's made of. C'est fait en papier. It's made out of paper, so you can describe the material. C'est fait de bois, it's, used, it's made out of wood. C'est fait en métal. It's made out of metal. C'est fait en plastique. C'est fait en verre. C'est fait en tissu. Um, so you could describe what its material is. Qui sert à, it's used for, the verb servir, to serve. Qui se trouve, it's found. Qui est, it is. Um, you could also describe shapes as well. Rond, carré, triangulaire, rectangulaire. Hopefully these phrases help you a little bit to start to use circumlocution in French to say the thing you want to say that you don't know how to say. C'est quand ça sert à écrire, se déplacer, cuisiner, protéger, on le trouve, en ville, à l'école, à la maison, dans la mer, c'est fait. C'est fait en papier, c'est fait de bois, c'est fait en métal, c'est fait en plastique, c'est fait en verre, c'est fait en tissu. Um, c'est une chose qui sert à, qui se trouve, qui est rond, qui est carré, qui est triangulaire, qui est rectangulaire, qui est bleu. You can use all of the vocab that you already know to get these ideas across. Best of luck using circumlocution to further 
your goal of sticking in French um, for everything you're trying to say. Bonne chance. Ciao.